So Nginx Proxy Manager released a huge update today and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. So one thing that prompted me to make this video is a lot of people are actually asking how to do a DNS challenge to get certificates if you can't open up port 80 or 443 to get certificates through Let's Encrypt. So this is a perfect chance to be able to show you the new version of Nginx Proxy Manager and show you how to do a DNS challenge. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is go to the GitHub of Nginx Proxy Manager. All the links that you will need will be in the description below, so don't worry about that. We're just going to scroll down until we see quick setup. Okay, we have our server built. The only thing you will need is a domain name. We're using dos.cc for this example. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So once you have in your VPS, the first thing that we will need is, of course, Docker. So let's go to install Docker. So if we do Docker dash V, as you can see, we do not have it. Let's go to our browser and go to the official Docker site to install Docker Engine for Ubuntu. Links, again, all in the description below. We're gonna make this as easy as possible for you guys. So go ahead and scroll down until you see installing Docker's repository or setting up Docker's repository. So let's copy that, paste, and let's just wait for that to finish. Once that is done, go back to your browser, scroll down until you see the install command, paste that in as well. It will ask you if you wanna continue, so just press Y on your keyboard and press Enter and wait for that to install. So now that we have Docker installed, so let's go back to our browser and let's just copy the snippet here. Go back to our terminal. Let's do mkdir space dash p npm. Let's go ahead and change directories into that. And let's vim docker dash compose dot yml. Wire on our keyboard and let's paste that in. Everything looks good to me here. So let's do colon wq and press enter. And then easy enough, docker space compose space up space dash d. D is for detach. This will run it in the background and let's press enter on our keyboard. This will pull the container and start Nginx Proxy Manager. Once your container is started, we can do IP space A, and let's go ahead and grab our IP. So our NIC is F0, let's go ahead and copy our IP, go back to our browser, paste that in, doing colon AD1, that is for the admin web page, and let's press enter. Should take us right to there, it's gonna ask us for a setup, so let's type in our name, our email address, so let's do admin at dos.cc, and then our password, let's make it a secure one and click enter. As you can see, if you're coming from my last video about Nginx Proxy Manager, they now have a, a beautiful dark mode that has been, oh, it's been needed for a long time and I love it. So <laughs> let's continue here. And the next thing that we're gonna need is setting up our domain name. So make sure you guys set your domain's A record to the IP address of your Nginx Proxy Manager. I'm going to go ahead and do that. But before you do that, you will also need to enable API access for your domain and generate API keys for your domain as well. This is how you're going to do DNS challenges. I'll show you guys how to do all of that. I will not be showing you guys how to do the domain side of things because that may show some private information. Plenty of YouTube videos out there. Look up how to do it for your own domains registrar. Get that done. And I'll see you guys right after I complete that as well. Okay, once you have that done, make sure you set up a CNAME to the web address. So such as jellyfin.dos.cc goes to dos.cc. So you're gonna set your CNAME to your root domain. So Nginx Proxy Manager will intercept that and it will know how to redirect you to whether it's Jellyfin, Plex, Vault Warden, etc. So we're gonna go to certificates here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our first certificate using a DNS challenge. We're gonna click add certificate. And then this time, instead of doing let's encrypt via HTTP, this is the option you would select if you have AD and 443 open, but we do not in this case. So we're gonna use let's encrypt via DNS. This is for the DNS challenge. So we're gonna click on that one. And then this is where it says domain names. For this example, we're gonna do jellyfin dot dos dot cc let's click create then we're going to select dns provider and then there's a multiple options to choose from for us we're using pork bun so let's search pork bun and then it is asking for our api key and our secret key so i have mine copied right here and these will be deleted afterwards so they will not work um so feel free to try it they will be deleted afterwards so let's copy our api key here paste that in and then let's copy our secret key and paste that in as well. So that's pretty much all you need for the DNS challenge. It's going to use your API key and it's going to create a pretty much an authentication text record to verify that you own the domain and then it will generate and then issue the certificate to you. So let's go ahead and click save and then let's watch that finish. It may take a little bit longer than HTTP, but it will end up working. 
Okay, once it gets generated, all you have to do is apply it to your web server. If you guys do need to renew the cert, all you have to do is click the three dots and then just click renew. Should automatically renew the certificate the same way the HTTP does, just like that. And let's go to dashboard. Let's click add proxy host, jellyfin.dos.cc. Let's use the IP of the server, port 80. Select the cert we just generated using the DNS challenge, force SSL and click save. And there you go, guys. That is a quick and easy way to use a DNS challenge to generate your certificates. If you cannot open up your Nginx proxy manager on port 80 and 443. And that is pretty much it, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know. Hopefully that helped you guys to deploy the new version of Nginx proxy manager, as well as generate some SSL certificates. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.